saw a little bit of background supporting material. Part of this was was uh, inspired by some. There's uh, some people out there in the academic community who are doing what is called open notebook science. And now, so you know, open notebook science is this idea of using all these free tools that are available online to create a stream that represents the science and research that they're doing. And they use these, these existing tools and they kind of get, the, they get these properties where things are tagged and you can have comments and they're embeddable and you have RSS feeds and time stamping, et cetera, as a way to change from, uh, I just have a journal article, once every six months I have a journal article, to actually every week goes by, some small change is happening. And I still have the journal article six or eight months later. But if you liked that journal article and you want to see how that journal article came to be, you can go back. And you can look through all of these channels and you can actually see all the steps that we're taking. And this is, this is about the idea of making things more repeatable. By showing more of your process, you can make things more repeatable. And I think this is no different than any scientific thing where you write in a notebook to keep notes for yourself so you can repeat it later. And then once again, a little bit about this idea of open systems versus closed systems. And so uh, there's a, a paper from open source software development called The Cathedral and the Bazaar, and it talks about this idea of you're inside a cathedral, you're up top, you're sheltered from other people, you're, you're hanging out with people who all agree with you, uh, or for the most part all agree with you, or you're in a bazaar, it's a small open market, everyone can see everybody else, it's messy, it's noisy, you know, kind of a little bit of a, a different sort of feel. Um, a lot of people may be doing the same thing with only slight variations, and sort of thinking about how how these these different systems work and how certain ones tend to be better at, at certain things and certain ones tend to be better at other things. Um, and then another idea is this idea from from these these systems such as Wikipedia and Linux is the idea of accountability and history, a shared common history. So all of these, these services such as Wikipedia, such as Linux, what they have is they have, a, they have these common bulletin boards and forums and change logs and version repository systems that allow you to, to really see everything that's happening with that system. And as a result, it, you develop a trust. There's a trust developed that no one person is holding all the information, no one person has all the control, that information is there for all to use, and as a result, you more readily will contribute your own information because you know that that will always be available to you at a later point in time. That can never be taken from you. If you're, if you're uh, you know, often in other situations, such as, say, some corporate mentalities have this idea that if I'm going to bring up a problem, I might get in trouble. And, by, and, then, and so as a result, you sweep the problems under the rug. But in most of these systems, actually, you can be rewarded for bringing up a problem, right? And, and the idea is that that is what allows the system to improve slowly over time. Um, and then I'll go back to one more time, this, this pull versus push doodle, and the idea that this, if, if, if I have a, Jeff, let's do a little demo here. You know, this, from, from the simplest point of view, I can, it, it's very rude to do this, to push, right? To tell them something, to, to tell you the answer, but the idea of a pull, the idea of a pull is that I'm going first, right? When you pull, you're going first. And when you push, you're asking the other person to go first. And so, uh, hopefully, at some at some way, I have something that uh, that I that I've done in this residency will inspire you, and in that I took some initial step in sharing a little bit more than usual, and that you would be inspired to do the same. And then, as people see that happen, they will also be inspired to do the same. So rather than 
obviously telling, you want to show, you want to allow the experience to happen. 